Hi there, we have an HC311 system and an Ecobee thermostat on the main floor. We have a Honeywell thermostat on the second floor but not getting air through the second floor vents as of yesterday. Where in your home is your Honeywell thermostat installed? How old is it? Second floor and we bought this house about four and a half years ago. How long has this been going on with your Honeywell thermostat? What have you tried so far? It happened last summer and it was because there was ice inside of the air conditioner. This time there's no ice on the air conditioner. It started as of yesterday or possibly the day before that we are not getting air to the upstairs. Anything else we should know to help you best? There has been a lot of cotton flying around and we're wondering if the cotton outside has clogged something. I also looked up a YouTube instructional video that said the filters on the cold air returns might need to be replaced. But that was mainly just to get more cool air to the top. It looks like the dampers are automatic, but I would love to have the cold air start or mainly go to the second floor in the warmer months. Last year the ice was in the air conditioner unit around the piping. It's fixed after we let it melt. How long am I expected to wait? Hello? I paid the $5 for this conversation. Hi. My name is I've got over 10 years of HVAC slash air conditioning refrigeration experience. Please read this entire post I've worked on everything from 1200 ton chillers, residential ACs down to refrigerators and everything in between. I've also been to Generac school, so I'm also qualified to help with generators and basic small engines. I would be glad to help you out today. All I ask is that you please remember I am also a service tech who actively is working in the field, so my responses may be a bit delayed. Especially today since it's July the 4th. Please know that I will still do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. I'm sure with my knowledge, and us working together we can get you a satisfactory answer. With that being said, phone requests, are often auto-generated by just answer, if you don't want them, simply do not accept the phone request, and I'll be happy to help through text. So you have two separate systems for the upstairs slash downstairs portion of your house, correct? I need to know if you've got two systems, or what is known as a zone system which is where one air conditioner system serves both floors with dampers and controls. Totally understandable. If there's two systems, could you tell me exactly what type of system you have, the one that's giving you issues, is it a straight cool ACW gas furnace, electric only, or a heat pump system, also is it a package unit everything outside, or a split system, indoor unit and outdoor condensing unit. The Ecobee system started up after we got solar panels. But it's a Honeywell air conditioning system and their thermostat apparently controls the second or upper floor and the Ecobee controls the first floor. Wow, that's technical stuff. Let me try and read what is this from the manual. On the outside of your house, do you have two ACS or just one? Can you tell from the number? HC311 True Zone? From Honeywell? 1. Honeywell is just the creator of the thermostat and control system. Not the AC itself. But if you're reading HC311, that's Honeywell's zone controller so you do have a zone system. K, I'm looking. Is the zone downstairs cooling properly? If so, we may have an issue with the damper, controlled by the zone controller and upstairs T-stat, 
not opening to deliver cold air to the zone. I tried to look for the damper levers, but it is saying that it has an automatic rectangular damper. I found two of those. So your zone controller looks like this correct? http colon slash prntscr dot com slash owns but so can you tell me what lights are lit up on it? And also what type of thermostat controls the upstairs, if there is one? Zone 1 has been green the last 24 hours. Zones 2 and 3 have been red. Cool and fan are both green. Correct, the dampers are controlled by the zone system. They are in the ductwork somewhere, so if you wanted to manually open them you may have to disconnect the actuator motor from the mechanical part of the damper and open it that way. BTW you can upload photos directly to our chat box using the attachment button, similarly to an email, and that way I can see exactly what you're seeing. Okay, so that helps. If the controller is showing red lights on zone 2 and 3, that simply means those zones are not calling for cooling from the thermostat. So far I've gathered you have an EcoB downstairs a zone controller somewhere upstairs, but what about T-stats for the other zones, are there any other thermostats? I don't know of any other thermostats. The one that controls the top floor, apparently, looks like this. Thank you for that. That helps immensely. So you've got a Honeywell thermostat controlling up top and eco be down below. The pictures you've shown me are of two dampers and the upstairs stat. What is the temperature downstairs, on the eco be set at? Here's the photo. I've got to step off for a bit be back shortly. No worries. Still coming back? Is the thermostat downstairs set lower than the one upstairs temp-wise? Upstairs set at 73 and downstairs at 74, but it's mainly been morning here, so just starting to heat up. It is kind of funny though that the main floor yesterday was staying lower by a degree or two than we had it set at. Let's set the downstairs to 70, and the upstairs to 72, then tell me if those Reese lights turn green. Red lights. K, for some reason can only set the downstairs to 71. Is that good enough? That's fine as long as it brings the unit on, need to get the downstairs turned down colder than the upstairs. Maybe a setting on the eco be limiting you to 71. K, doing that but the main floor eco be thermostat hasn't brought the temp down yet. Still same red lights only showing on zones 2 and 3 thus far. Hmm, the outside unit running. Hey, I accidentally sent a call me but didn't mean to. Please cancel the call order. It's running outside. Hey, the main floor temp even just went up a degree to 74 even though it said it's 73. But air is running. No worries I'm not calling. Thanks, that means I won't be charged. Okay, so the red lights are still present on zone 2 and 3. What I would like to do is get the downstairs temp set a few degrees below the top, just to check if they're conflicting with each other your issue is for one reason or another, the zone controller is seeing no demand for upstairs cooling. Hey, something has finally changed. The green light turned on for zone 2. I assume that's the main floor. Did you want me to try and make it even warmer upstairs and see what happens? I believe what's happening is your thermostats are conflicting. 
If the master thermostat downstairs is not set below the one up top, the unit may not come on slash dampers for upstairs won't open. Set it to 74 or 75. The zone controller needs to see a call for zone 2 from the upstairs thermostat. Since I can only get the main floor set to no lower than 71. You can set it like that. But the temperature upstairs needs to be higher than the set point on the thermostat for it to call for cooling. What should I do next? Just not sure I'm following. You've got to keep the thermostat downstairs set below the one upstairs. It's a good test to put it to 74 upstairs and keep it 71 downstairs to see if the air will start coming through the vents. Start coming through upstairs. For the upstairs zone to work the unit needs to be running, engaged by downstairs stat, and the upstairs thermostat has to be calling, so the temp upstairs needs to be higher than what you set it at. That's why before the zone lights were red and now they're green. You could have the downstairs set to 70, and the upstairs set to 72, but the downstairs is a master thermostat and the upstairs is a slave. Does that make sense? But seems a bit counterintuitive. I guess we just wait for a bit but the air is still not coming through the vents on the second floor. I'll check on the red slash green lights again. Right now the top is set to 74 and the bottom to 71. Okay good, so under that condition as long as it's hotter than 71 downstairs the unit should be on, and the upstairs zone should be calling as long as the temperature upstairs is above 74. If not we've got an issue with either a thermostat, a zone controller, or a damper motor. Does it matter whether it's on auto or on for either floor? Are you referring to the fan option? Fan should be left on auto so the equipment controls it accordingly. For both thermostats, correct? Right. How long do you think it's worth waiting for to decide if I need to call a technician to look at the thermostat, zone controller, or a damper motor? To wait to see if the air starts blowing or not? By the way, is there a way to confirm that I won't be charged with a phone call? You should not be charged for a phone call. If another expert tries to call simply tell them you are already being helped by me through text. It looks like you're just planning on staying connected for a bit to see if something changes, right? At least both zones are green now. Again. While we're waiting, do you think this could be caused by the cold air filters being clogged on the second floor? Also, would zone 1 be the main floor or the upstairs? Typically? Also, if this doesn't work, do you think I need to call Honeywell or the local dealer who installed the air conditioning unit and has serviced before? Are you still there? Well, I guess we're done here. Thanks for the help. I had to step away. Low airflow would cause issues, but it wouldn't cause the zone controller to not be lit up for zones 2 to 3. Hopefully that makes sense. You mean not to be lit up green? Because they are now. Is zone 1 typically the top floor? Depends how they have it wired. If it were me installing it I would make zone 1 the downstairs. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.